Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question on electrical circuits. We'll be drawing them nice and neat, so remember a ruler, then using Ohm's law to calculate the resistance of a lamp. Here's a question from the 2015 Intermediate 2 paper. A student sets up the following circuit using a battery, two lamps, a switch and a resistor. We're then asked to draw a circuit diagram for this circuit using the correct symbols for the components. If you're struggling to remember all of the circuit symbols, then you could watch this video. I know it says test, but you can use it to help memorize the symbols as well. First of all, I'll make more space to draw the circuit diagram. I'll also simplify it by drawing the battery, the lamps and the switch in series first. Then add in the resistor in parallel with lamp M at the end. So I'll draw these components first. First off, we have a battery containing four cells, then two lamps and a switch. Notice that I'm placing the components in roughly the same position as in the picture. All I have to do now is join them up with a line. And if you're doing this as well, then please use a ruler. The final step is to now draw the resistor in parallel with lamp M, like so. Notice the dots either side of lamp M. This is to show that it's physically connected to the resistor. Also, even though the battery is shown to contain four cells, it's still okay to draw like this, which I'm sure is the symbol you've learned. Apart from that, don't place components on corners. And again, remember a ruler. Next up, it's part B. Each lamp is rated 2.5 volts, 0.50 amps. Calculate the resistance of one of the lamps when it's operating at the correct voltage. So, like any other mathematical question, it's important to know the symbols for each quantity we're using. That way, we can find the correct equation in the relationship sheet. Voltage is given the letter V, current, which is 0.50 amps here, is given the letter I, and resistance, that's what we're trying to find, is given the letter R. That leads us to this equation, known as Ohm's law. Since we're calculating resistance R, you can make this the subject of the equation by dividing both sides by I, like so. We then substitute our values into the equation, which gives us 2.5 divided by 0 0.50, which is 5.0 ohms. Make sure you spend time memorising the correct symbols for the equations you've learned, as well as the correct units. This one simple step can make a huge difference. Finally, we have part C of the question. When the switch is closed, will lamp L be brighter, dimmer, or the same brightness as lamp M? You must justify your answer. If you've forgotten what the circuit looks like already, then here it is. Although we'll need more space again for an answer. There's more than one way to answer this question, but I think the easiest is to consider the current at different points in the circuit. Now we don't know the total resistance of the circuit or the supply voltage, so we can't calculate the current in this part of the circuit, the current in the switch. What we do know, however, is that the current splits at this point. That's because lamp M and the resistor are in parallel. These two currents then join together, so you can see that the current in lamp L is greater than the current in lamp M. Because of this, lamp L will be brighter than lamp M, and that's our answer. Lamp L will be brighter since the current splits through lamp M and the resistor, or words to that effect. Now, that's the end of this video, but remember, you've got homework to do. Learn your circuit symbols, as well as the symbols for each quantity in the equations you've learned, and the correct units. And finally, remember a ruler. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.